Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this one has come to me from the good people at diamondartgift.com um, Pop along to their website, they do have some special offers on at the moment. Uh, if you buy four items, one of them will be free, so add four to your basket and one will be free. And there is 70% off shipping as well. So go and check out what it is for your country. But yeah, uh, it's easy to put four paintings into your uh, basket and buy them. I must admit, I very rarely just look at somewhere and think, oh, I'll just have one. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you, Diamond Art Gift, for sending me these. Let's have a look at what we got. Oh, oh, I've given that one away. Look, I think we can see what that one is. <laughs> oh. And I think we can probably see what that one is as well. And then, oh, oh, now then, this was something new that I spotted on the website when I went to have a look. Uh, the diamondartgift.com did uh, contact me and say, would I like some products uh, to show my channel? Yes, of course. And I'll always go and check the what's new to see what's new in and see if there's anything really interesting. And this caught my eye. And it says it is DIY picture frame wall sticker self-adhesive tape kit for oil paint poster diamond paints I thought, oh let's go and have a look and see what this is so it looks all right so this is a velcro it looks like so this is going to be stickers to put things onto the wall okay let's just uh, undo that slightly yep so that's one part of velcro okay looks like there's a nice chunk there wow so this is this the other side of the velcro and it's, and it's um sticky tape velcro so you'll peel the backing off there and that's sticky one to stick to your canvas and the other to stick to your wall and then you'll just put those two together i love velcro it's one of the best inventions ever and yeah so you can put your picture on your wall um, and then if you want to change it out, as long as you've got one side still on your painting or one side on your wall, you can uh, move it. Uh, oh, yeah. A little bit like a huge command strip, <laughs> basically. Uh, obviously, I don't know what this will be like um, if you do put it on your wall for, say, taking your paint off or for, uh, or for your wallpaper. So maybe do a little test piece first. But uh, yeah, very good. So gosh, there is a lot there. So that's huge rows of uh, sticky Velcro to use. So that must be then uh, to use on your picture. And then this is to go around your edges of your picture. Let me just uh, grab a pair of scissors. I want my pointy scissors for this. And just go in here. Okay, and then this is like a self-adhesive border strip. So as you're doing the edges of your painting, if you've got writing or whatever and you don't want to take it off, you would just put this around the edges of your painting, of your uh, diamond painting. So yeah, there is a lot there as well. I mean, that is probably, let me just measure that little bit there and then give you a little bit of an indication. Oh, I think there's quite a lot here. If I can find it on the website, I'll let you know how long it actually is. So that is two foot, um, which is 24 inches, which is 61 centimetres. Just that little bit there to there. And then you've still got all that wrapped around there. So I'm thinking possibly two meters but i will double check uh, the website and then obviously you've got this to match as well so probably enough to do a couple of different uh, canvases depending on the size but yeah i just thought that was something a little bit different and that was three pound 99 which i know um buying velcro can be uh, quite costly so that's pretty good and then i do like that edging as well it's quite a thick edging actually quite a nice one so it is uh, three centimetres, which is about one and a quarter inches. So yeah, good size. I'm just looking at this painting here. So do it that way, Liz. So 
yeah it's roughly the width of your uh, diamond painting the extra edge so if you didn't want to cut out your diamond painting you could just add this nice uh, sticky edge to it just for decoration and actually that goes quite nicely with those colors as well mm. and then just i would put your velcro on the back oh that's i wonder if they're doing it so that you can put that on there so you're turning that into like um sticky velcro I suppose you could do that as well or use them separately. So, yeah, something just that little bit different. Um, no, sorry, it's $3.99, not £3.99, so it's in dollars. So, yeah, okay, so that's uh, quite handy, quite something a little bit different. Okay, right, let's have a look at this one. I think you can see what this is. Um, if anybody's been with me for a while, they will know that the nearest city to where I live is Hull, Kingston upon Hull. Um, if you're not, if you if you're new to the channel, hello, and everybody else, welcome back. <laughs> the madness continues. So let's have a look at this canvas. Let's see what we got this time. Okay. So, oh. And it's a 30 by 40. Did you know when I ordered this, I thought it was 30 by 30, but it's not. It's 30 by 40. Uh, it was $4.99. Oh, wow. And it's in the already uh, bagged up look, little grip seal bag. So it's ready to go all on its own. And it's got these, my favourites look, these little bags with the diamonds on. Still not 100% sure what I'm going to do with them all. I do think I may use them in my spare drills, possibly on my um, special shaped drills and maybe just cover the numbers over with something because I don't like these. Oh, anything that's like branded or just that little bit different. I just love it. Absolutely love it. So that's your colours. If I was standard toolkit to get us started, your pen, your butt and your wax. And this is the Hull City Shield. Uh, Hull City Football Club. Um, or Hull City AFC. Was founded in 1904. So the logo is uh, a tiger. This is our like mascot. Um, so we do like tigers as well. My dad and uh, all my brother's side of the family are all well into Hull City. Uh, my sister's side of the family, um, they lived up in Newcastle for a while. So they're Newcastle United. So a little bit of rivalry goes on. <laughs> but yeah, um, we are called the Tigers because this um, actual strip, the football strip or the soccer strip, if you're in America, is... Um, amber and black stripes so that's why they're always sort of tiger-ish but yeah so that is our logo and i just thought yeah we'll get one of these it will either be kept here or i will use it as a present uh, for somebody in the family i may have to do more than one though because as i say we have quite a few football supporters and players uh, my brother did use the coach a football team as well so yeah only little, you know, children's football teams, not uh, big football teams. <laughs> but yeah, we've always had uh, an interest in football in the family. And yeah, it's 13 different colours. Nice uh, capital letters there, all easy to see. And we do have uh, a DMC coats as well. So if you do keep your drills, you can put them away. A nice clear drill field. You can see those very very clearly the black on the white and the white on the black stands out lovely uh, to be honest this is one that i will probably do uh, do all the border first the white get that out of the way then i will quite possibly do all of the uh, amber color the orangey color because this looks like quite a lot of color blocking all of the same color and then possibly do the black and then fill in with the smaller amounts of color so Let's have a look and see what colours they've given us. Yeah, just got this first time I've spotted this one. Because we are, although um, Hull, Hull is a big city, um, our football team has, well, we have been um, in the Premier League, in the Top League for a while, but uh, it tends not to be the best in the country, the best known anyway. So it's not one of the bigger clubs as it were. 
so you don't tend to find them um, on websites and things uh, the whole city logo quite so much so i was really happy to see this one and i thought yeah i'm getting that one okay so we'll start number 13 is is that one that's 3865 so it's not the bright white it's the, like what i call the uh, winter white and um, it's slightly sort of a creamy white rather than a real bright stark white We've got number 12, which is 939, which is your very dark blue, which is sort of usually put in with um, black, just to make it, again, not quite such a stark colour. Uh, number 11 is a very dark brown. And then we've got a nice rusty orange colour there. And again, another brown. So these must all like be shading on your tiger. And then another russety rust colour there. A little bit of pale grey so that's going to be shading in with your white on your tiger oh a lovely bright orange there that's nice and oh look at that one that one dropped out look so that's going to be your contrast between um your tiger and your shield color there i do believe that'll be the shield and then this will be a tiger and then we have a gray color so three grays and then not much black, not much 310 black. So, yeah, nice to do. That will be quite a nice quick project. I've got a lot of uh, birthdays in April for family members. Uh, a couple in March, a couple in April. So I can quite possibly be doing this one. Uh, it may even go to Japan. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so that's that one. So actually, this... Um, it's quite nice depending on how ornate you want this to be you could use this edging to go with this painting the colors sort of matching unless you just want like a plain black um, and if you don't want to be taking off or cutting your edges using something like this like these uh, sticky tapes do actually cover over all of the writing and everything so you don't have to do a lot to your painting and then you can just mitre your corners just do it into like a triangle in the corner and then just go along all your different edging and do that so yeah i'm quite pleased i didn't realize this one would match in quite so well so that was a lucky buy the way that that worked out very very good okay so that one was 4.99 i can't remember if i said that uh, sorry four dollars 99 and this one was four dollars 99 as well so this one's just a bit of fun and we are in january it is smashing the specials are you sick of me saying that yet but i do like my special rules it's the bling it's the sparkle what can i say i'm a blingy sparkly girl <laughs> Okay, so this is a little one. This is just a 30 by 30 canvas. Nice soft canvas, actually, this one. Oh, look at those. Look at all those sparkle. Oh, I do love special drills. I was definitely a magpie in a former life because I just love anything sparkly. Uh, pen, boat and wax, your little uh, kit there. And it is, look. This is for my Valentine's corner that I'm going to be doing. And it says, I love you no matter what. Oh, and it's one of the plate designs that have come out as well. Um, I started seeing the plate designs of the special drill diamond paintings and the full drill diamond paintings uh, just before Christmas seem to be plates coming out. And I think they're a great idea. Um, if you saw the ones that I did over the Christmas period, um, I have got completion reviews in my playlists. If you want to have a look at those, then... Uh, yeah, what I tend to do with these, rather than leaving the white edging, because that has no drills or anything on it, I cut them out like a plate, and then I just put some foam board on the back and put them on the wall actually as a plate. So I'm hoping to get a few of the different designs of this one. There is quite a few different ones, but I just love this one for Valentine's. Uh, and I'll probably give this one to hubby. Uh, but yeah, I just, uh, I love you no matter what. <laughs> I love the play on gnome little word. It's brilliant. So this is a little girl gnome and she's got little bows in her hair coming down here and her little nose. And I think, oh, she's just going, I love you no matter what. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. 
Uh, there is only seven different gems and colours in this one, so it'll be quite a quickish one to do. And I love all the little hearts in the background, look. It's definitely like a plate, this one, I love it. And then just that little bit of gingham, just to give it a border around the edge. So this is all like a scalloped edge where you're going to be putting all your drills um, around the scallops, but then the plaid edge, the gingham edge around um, the red bit is just going to set it off that little bit. So the actual sort of canvas size, the picture size that they've given us is 25 centimetres, which is nine and three quarter inches. But the plate size is uh, 23 centimetres, which is nine and a half inches, which is what I will be using, as I say, because I will be cutting it out and putting it onto mount board. And yep, yeah, that one, 25 centimetres, the same. And 24 centimetres. Did I say 23? Did I measure it wrong that way? What am I doing? No, it's 24. I do apologise. It's my eyesight. I wasn't looking at uh, this bit. So, yeah, it's 24 centimetres round or nine and a half inches round the actual plate size. So, yeah. Oh, I just think she's gorgeous. Um, I will do it on... Uh, on video when i do my completion review um i will cut it out and put it onto mount board as well so you can see what i do if you've not seen me do that before okay let's have a look at these gems wow i say only nine different sorry seven different ones so, do you know i can't read today what is going on <laughs> okay let's have a look at these oh easily as with that uh, Valentine's one, as I say, you've got lots of nice red in this one. We're starting off with our lovely clear crystal. Look at that. I love it when you get the crystals and they're so sparkly and clear. And then that gorgeous deep red colour. You've got standard black there, which you do need sometimes just that little bit of black just to make everything else stand out that bit more. Uh, a nice lemony gold colour there. Then our specials. Oh, we've got some medium round, the sort of a goldy colour. And they've got the iridescent coating on, so you're getting all your different shines there. And then look at the hearts. Oh, we've got little heart-shaped gems, look, all around here. Oh, they're gorgeous. And they're like little faceted red hearts. Wow. And then finally, we've got your red marquees there with the facets on. So, wow, this is going to be really, really sparkly. So what I'm, I like to do and what uh, I am determined to do uh, more of this year is uh, have a little corner um, in between my living room and my dining room where I've got a little table and I like to put up like a, a different uh, theme in that corner. I mean, Christmas was just everywhere. Uh, Halloween was just more in the corner. So I'm going to start off this year with a Valentine's corner. Then it will change into a spring corner, uh, possibly a summer corner, and just move through the seasons like that so that you can see um, all the different paintings that I've completed, sort of in a little montage, as it were, all together. <laughs> Just keep them uh, flowing through and it just gives everybody a chance to shine rather than just having my paintings in my portfolios. Um, I'm going to actually have them out and then change them out as the seasons change. So yeah, watch this space and I will be doing that. We've had our gorgeous, cute little Valentine's No. We've got our Hull City football team logo. Uh, yeah we'll get done and uh, yeah it probably won't be in this house very long because i'm sure it will be uh, snaffled up by one of the family and then we've got our nice uh, edging to go with it so we can put a little bit of decoration on our paintings okay see if we can get this to just lie flat a little bit oops nope it's not going to it's just going to curl up on itself as well <laughs> with the velcro back in as well Okay, so a huge thank you to Diamond Art Gift Up for Com for sending me these. Don't forget to check out uh, the website and check out the special offers that they've got on there as well. Um, if you have enjoyed looking at these with me, then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions, if you pop them in the comments down below. And if you want to join our little family and come back and see these completed and see what I get up to next. 
And if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, well, thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.